Hey everybody, it's Pam ST with Pam ST Mini Costuming. Uh, today I am starting work on some wigs for my Linda Carter head, which is by Sean Dabbs. And it's been painted by Myla Snyder. Very happy with the paint and eventually I'll have some nice close-ups of her. But right now she's wrapped in some plastic wrap. Nice and tight, taped it up really good because I'm going to put this on the head where I'm going to be laying hair. So what I'm creating is a silicone wig cap so that I can glue hair to it and then I can remove this wig. I plan to make two. One of them will be an updo and then the other one will be loose hair so that I can dress her in several different things. I'll be able to pull her hair back or it'll look like her hair is pulled back. So um, first thing I'm going to do is uh, get some of this on my brush and it's uh, pretty thick stuff. A little dry, clear, and I'll probably have to put on several coats, but I'm going to take her head off of here and hold her right here like this. You can see I already painted the top of her head black. That way when I'm laying hair, if you can't see through the hair, then at least they'll be black underneath. So I'm just going to go around the line here. You can see I'm getting right here. The light's a little bad. Let me focus that a little bit better. There we go. So I'm just going to continue to layer this. doesn't matter that there's wrinkles. Eventually, once I get the plastic off the bottom of it, I'll be able to trim it out and make it exactly the shape I want, but for now I'm just going to try to stay in this line right here at the top of her head. I'll just go right up to that line and keep on brushing and then when this is dry I'll put another layer on and then maybe another layer and another layer until I get a nice stiff wig cap and then that is what I will glue hair to. By the way, I am planning to use mohair. Got some black mohair, see if you can see it here. And it is real skinned. It is not wefted. So I'm not sure what happened to this animal. To He gave up his skin. I'm sure someone ate him, which, you know, that's just the way things go in this world. So anyway, I'll cut this into and make my own wefts and then I will glue them on one at a time. That process will take quite a while. Oh, some of this is already starting to dry while we're talking. So I'll come back when I'm ready to pull this off of here and see what we get as far as wig cap goes. Oh, by the way, this stuff is really, really bad for a brush, though I don't use really good brushes for this kind of thing. They're nice, cheap brushes. So I'll be back. And you have a great weekend. And if you have any questions, be sure to email me and subscribe. Thank you.